Today, we'll create this 90s title. Does it give you the flashbacks from your childhood days? Because I definitely have those flashbacks. Hi, my name is Dennis Zhilin, and I'll show you how to go back to the 90s with the help of After Effects. Create a new composition. Set the resolution to 3840 by 2160. Set the FPS to 24. 6 seconds long. Name the composition 90s title. Select the text tool, drag it across the screen area and set the font to Capelina, bold caps, or just bold. Type in your text, set the font size to about 200. While the text layer is selected, click Effect, Generate, Fill, or look it up in the Effects and Presets panel, just like I did. Go to the 12 frames time mark, unfold the text layer, locate the fill effect. Click the color box next to the fill color and set the color to almost white, but not completely white. Film titles are almost never white. Enter F0, F0, F0 in the hex code field. Set a keyframe. Go to 0 seconds. In the color picker window, enter C4, EE, CD in the hex code field. Click OK to apply the color. Move this keyframe to the 15th frame instead of the 12th. It will make a smoother transition this way. Then go to 5 seconds and 12 frames and set the keyframe again. After that, copy the first keyframe by selecting it and pressing Ctrl-C. Then go to the very end and paste this keyframe by pressing Ctrl-V. This way the text will fade in with a green color and fade out with a green color, while staying almost white in between. Right-click on a text layer, pre-compose. Select Move all the attributes into the new composition if the choice is available. Go to the position. Alt-click on a stopwatch. Type in Wiggle, open parenthesis, 10, comma, 1. All this is without spaces. This will wiggle our text in a random direction for 1 pixel, 10 times a second. Then go to the 3 frames mark on a timeline and click on the opacity stopwatch to add a keyframe. Go to 0 seconds and set the opacity to 0. Do the same at the end. Go to the third frame from the end, set the opacity to 100, and at the very end set it to 0. Then go to Effect, Stylize, and select the Rough and Edges effect. Unfold the Precomp layer, Effect, Rough and Edges. Then go to 1 second time mark and add a keyframe to the border. Set the border to 0. Then go to 0 seconds and set the border to 78. Now it looks like the text is appearing from something like a white ink spot, or it's coming out from the mist. Go to 5 seconds and 7 frames and set the keyframe for the border. Then go to the very end and set the border to 78 again. After that, go to zero second mark and set a keyframe for the evolution. Go to the end of the timeline and set the evolution to something like this. It's 2 times and 115 degrees. It doesn't need to be the exact number. By the way, I've got many more 90s style titles on my Patreon and not only titles. By subscribing to the tier 2, you will get access to the map templates, camera animations, timeline animations, titles, conversation templates, world map in ultra high definition that you can use in your projects, and more. All of this is at patreon.com slash danishjelly. Going back to the tutorial, select the precomp layer, right click on it, precompose. Select Move all the attributes into the new composition. Yes, we are pre-composing it once again. We are doing it to be able to add new effects, layer by layer, so that effects do not mess up each other. In a new composition create a solid. Layer, new, solid. Color, black. Put it underneath the pre-comp layer. Then select the pre-comp layer and go to Effects, Channel, Shift Channels. Set the red and green channels to full off and set the blue channel to blue. We are splitting the title into three channels, red, green and blue. 
this layer will have blue color. We'll play around with them a bit later. Go to Effects, Blur and Sharpen, Fastbox Blur. Set the blur radius to 2, iterations to 1. Duplicate the layer by selecting it and hitting the Ctrl D. Go to the effect controls of a new layer and in Shift Channels set the blue and red channels to full off. Set the green channel to green. Set the blending mode of this layer to screen. This will blend the layers together. Select this top layer and duplicate it. Go to the effect controls once again. In shift channels, set the blue and green channels to full off. Set the red channel to red. This will be our red channel. As you can see, the title looks white again. Now let's add the wiggle to the red and blue channels to mimic the color shifting of an old film and old optics. Select the bottom precomposed layer and hit P to open the position controls. Alt click on a stopwatch and type in wiggle open parenthesis 10, 1 close parenthesis, just like we did a few minutes ago. Select this expression and copy it by hitting Ctrl C. Then select the precomposed layer on the top. Hit P to open the position controls. Alt click on a stopwatch and paste the wiggle expression by hitting Ctrl V. And now our text has red and blue shift that's wiggling all the time. The last thing we have to do to finish our masterpiece from the 90s is to add grain. Create a new solid. Layer New Solid. Name it Grain and set the color to 808080. Hit OK. We've made a 50% neutral gray layer. It will allow us to apply grain on top of the title image. You will see how we'll do it in a minute. Go to Effect, Noise and Grain, Add Grain. Set the Viewing mode to Final Output. From now on, you can play around with your settings to create the film grain field that you like the most. Here is my settings. Set the color to monochromatic. Application, Film. Set the intensity to 2. Set the blending mode of the layer to overlay. Once you've set the blending mode to overlay, you will see the title and grain on top of it. And select the preset Eastman Color negative 100T. And here's the result. What's really cool in the way we've created this title you can go back to the text layer and change the text, font and color, and all effects will work. Put a like if you found this video useful, subscribe to see more, leave your suggestions for the next videos in the comments, and check out this video, it should be really awesome.